winners of 10 straight. Haven't done that in 11 years. We come in here at now 12 and 1. We have uh, got off to a 4 0 start in the league, and a lot of it's because of this young lady. Um, her third straight double double was attained here in this game, a 22 point, 13 rebound effort. I know that you don't think I'm going to get a double double when I come into this game. Just want to help this team. Why have we been so good? Why, why, why is this team 12 and 1 right now? We just share the ball. I think that in the beginning when we were doing those few scrimmages, we weren't learning how to play together because it's a new team. Mm -hmm. And that's just with every team. Like, you get new recruits and always trying to mix the returns with the new people. Yeah. But I think as we continue to practice and continue to play together, we, like, love each other. Like, yeah. we like playing with each other. We learning each other. Uh, everybody's skill level. We're learning that, too. Like, Alyssa yeah. can shoot the ball. Blair is a great shooter. Jami can dominate in the paint. Uh, Sophie can hand out assists. So, like, we all excel and just it makes us unstoppable, I feel like. It's, like, very hard to guard. And everybody else would say she does everything because uh, <laughs> you do a little bit of everything. You, you came out very briefly, you know, after, I think, in that first half, and you adapted your game. You realized, you know what, I can probably get to the rim as often as yeah. I wanted to. You know, how did that change the game? I, I think we took the, our game inside a lot more, and how did that change the game today? I think as uh, I've been here a long time, <laughs> and I've always been known as a shooter. So, like, as a grad student now, like, I just feel like, I'm in that leadership role, and I need yeah. to take, make myself better and make do what's best for the team, and that's me driving the ball. Because, like, sometimes, I mean, I know Jay used to do that a lot, and I was just the outside yeah. shooter. So now I have to, like, fill that role and just do it. Because I can do it, but, like, I yeah. just have to produce it onto the floor. So that's what I just tried to do because I was not going to lose this game today. <laughs> hey, you know, kudos to Southern Wesleyan. You know, I, we, had to, we had to challenge ourselves. They challenged us big time. They came out and hit a lot of shots. You know, I'm not saying we were complacent, you know, yeah. on defense, but we weren't ourselves. We didn't commit fouls. And I was like, just commit a foul. Like, we didn't commit a foul until the fourth quarter. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of crazy, you know, in, in the game. We take that run to start the second half. What was some of the change that we had to make to make ourselves better? We went in the locker room. We said, y'all, they're up. They shouldn't be up. Right. Let's let's lock in on defense. Let's play with some energy. Let's yeah. play with some effort. Cause like I know it's Christmas break, like we're ready to go, but like we need to just come in. That's what we did. We went on a six zero run in the beginning. It was like let's go. This is what we need to do. Like let's just get stops and keep it going. End of the game, they come back. They they never went away. You know, yeah. it just seemed they weren't going away. But we used a twelve nothing run there in that fourth quarter. Blair hit one, you hit one, and that kind of really opened the game. What was key in that stretch? Uh, our defense making shot. I mean, we could say a lot of things, but what seemed to be key for you guys during that stretch? I say help side because they were driving a lot. So uh, and just getting our hands up on those shooters, uh, they did make a lot of threes. So I think just reeling in on defense, switching, and uh, just help side too. Congratulations. Uh, fabulous. 22.13 uh, rebounds. Seemed to be everywhere today. 